Hey, how's it going? My name is Dustin Hudson. Today I'll be showing how to shatter some 3D text in Cinema 4D and animate it in the After Effects plugin Element 3D. So what we have here is some pieces and they come together and they form the word. And this is just a pre-fractured model from Cinema 4D and it's using the multi-object function in Element as well as the animation engine. So let's head on over to Cinema 4D. Now this is what our fractured object is going to look like in Cinema 4D. You can see that there are many different pieces making up a full text object. And the way we're going to be shattering this is a plugin for Cinema 4D called Therasi. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that wrong or right. I don't know. But it's for free. You can get it from a website called nitro40.com. There's lots of cool things on there uh, specifically for Cinema 4D. You can download it, just install it into the plugins folder for Cinema 4D and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new project, File New. And I'm going to go ahead and make some text. So I'm just going to go there. I'm going to rename this to Shatter. And all caps just for fun. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font, actually. Something a little bit more bolded. I like a Franklin Gothic with the Demi font style and it's a little bit thicker and you can see that the two T's at the top are touching so I'm just gonna go ahead and increase that a little bit so they're not touching and now I'm just gonna extrude my text using the extrude nerves and I'm gonna put my text underneath that and you should see it extrude in a second and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna go to object and movement and I'm gonna make that about 140 that was the number I used earlier. And then you can just hit enter. And that's a pretty good thickness. And just for fun, we're gonna give it a bit of a bevel. So just fillet cap, fillet cap. And we're pretty much good on the text for now. So from here, I'm gonna select my extrude nerves and I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard or you can hit this button over here on the left. And what that does is it converts it to editable polygons and now I'm going to select them and I'm holding shift and I'm going to click the bottom one and now they're all selected and I'm going to right click and hit connect and delete and now it is one object so now we're ready to shadow our object let's go to plugins Therasi and just click on this one and there's two different ways you can shatter one is random and the other is this word that starts with a V I'm not sure how to pronounce it because I'll probably botch it now the main difference between this random option and this second option is the way it shatters it. So let me show you real quick. Here back in After Effects. So if we take a look at this first example, this is the random setting and the pieces are a little bit more jagged and they're a little bit more spiky and they just sort of have a random look to them. Now the second option chunks them together a little bit differently and I personally like this look a little bit better. It just looks a lot more organic to me, but it's up to you. You can pick whatever one you want. But basically, the random one is actually a little bit more reliable. This other one does a good job, but sometimes there are some issues involved with it. And I'm going to do one more thing before we actually shatter it, is I'm going to go to the rotation and just rotate it 180 degrees, because Element will look at it correctly this way. If it's the other way, it'll show up backwards. So now we're just going to go back to our plugins, Therasi, click on that one. And I'm actually going to use this other one, the beta version, and just set it to 20. There's a couple of issues that come up with it, but I may be able to provide some tips on how to get around those. And then I'm just going to hit the Break Now button. And I'm just going to let it chug through that. And I'm going to select all these. And I'm going to right click and hit Unfold All. And that'll just reveal all them. And if we look at our text, it's shattered, but it looks really weird. The smoothing groups are all kind of off. It looks terrible right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the Fong tag on all these to a different value. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top Fong tag and go to the bottom and hold shift and click the bottom one and I'll select them all. And now I'm going to change the Fong angle limit to a lower value. And once we get to a certain threshold, you should see a lot of the issues go away. So right around there, most of them are gone. Now, this may not fix every single one. As you can see right here on the A, there's still one issue. And if I just click on that one piece, 
and I go up and find it and I click on that one fong tag and zoom in a little bit if I change it it should sort of fix itself so after messing around with it for a little bit and getting a good number dialed in it's starting to look pretty good there's still a little bit of an issue but the main idea is that if you're using that other shatter option other than the random you may have to go back and manually change a few pieces okay so now that we have it shattered we're gonna go ahead and save it which you should probably do way before this so I'm gonna go ahead and go save as and I'm going to save it at the video copilot models my models folder and that just makes things convenient and I'm just gonna call this action shatter pro because it sounds exciting and I'm gonna hit save and before moving on into After Effects I'm gonna to go to edit preferences and I'm going to go to files and make sure that the save polys for melange checkbox is checked and what that does is it allows element to look at the file correctly so we're just going to move on here into after effects and I'm just going to go project composition and I'm just going to hit OK and now I'm going to go to layer new solid Hit OK, make sure it's the comp size. Go Effect, Video Copilot Element. And I'm going to click on the Scene Setup, and that'll bring us into the Element 3D interface. And now over here on the right, I'm going to just navigate to the My Models folder. And when I click on this, the thumbnails of the models will show up below. And here's our Action Shatter Pro Cinema 40 file we just saved out. You just click on it and there's our project now as you can see it's split it up into two materials one is the outside pieces and one is the inside pieces so you can flip those on and off which is really convenient if you want the inside and outside to look different so now I'm gonna set the model to group one and two so I'm just gonna click this two and leave the one alone and now I'm just gonna hit OK now before we do anything I'm gonna go to the animation engine and just hit the enable button and I'm gonna go up to group one and I'm going to go to Particle Look, and then Multi-Object. And I'm going to check the Enable checkbox. I'm just going to set this to half res real quick. And now I'm going to use the Scatter option to displace the pieces. And as you can see, they're spreading out. And if I create a camera real quick here, if I go to Layer, Camera, just hit OK, it's fine. And if I hit C, you can bring up some of the camera options. And if I just rotate around this, you can see that it's 3D and that the pieces are displaced. First, I'm just going to shorten my comp a little bit real quick. It doesn't need to be five minutes. And I just want it to be about 30 seconds. It's fine. I'm going to right click and hit Trim Comp to Work Area. And I'm going to go to the Animation Engine in Element and just hit the stopwatch. And I'm going to move forward few frames around there and I'm gonna set it to 100 and I'm actually gonna shorten this a little bit more and now you can see that the pieces go from being scattered to animating into the shape of the text and that's basically the main idea and you can mess around with some of the settings the radial one is fun to play with just gives it a different look and then if you go to the multi object settings in group one you can play around with the random rotation it'll randomly rotate all the scattered pieces so that when it comes together they rotate back into their original place and there's lots of cool things you can play around with here you can displace them even farther on a specific plane and really just make some cool stuff in here a couple other tips heading back into the scene setup for the texture I just used one of the pro shaders and you can come down here to the metal and you can really just throw out any of these on here and at first it may not look right I'd recommend clicking on the model name going down to the texture surface and mapping and change it to box preserve aspect ratio and then from there you can change the UV repeat and you can just up the repeat number as you like and then just hit OK we can animate our camera Just set some keyframes on the position, move forward in time a little bit, hit C a couple times, and rotate around it. 
And one of the cool things, the way Cinema 4D sets up the shatter, is that you can have an internal texture and an external. So I could take one of these and drop it on the outside. And the outside would look like that, but the internal would still look gold. And then playing with the ambient occlusion definitely makes it look a lot better, setting up some lights and all that stuff. It makes it look like it has a little bit more depth to it. And there's lots of other cool things you could do with this technique. Here's a couple examples of things that I've done. You could go from one shattered text to another shattered text. You can make a ground cracking. So that's pretty much it. There's a lot of experimentation involved in this technique. And thanks for watching. My name's Dustin Hudson, and we'll see you next time.